Hi, welcome back to Emmy Reacts, where I'm watching Game of Thrones for the first time. Today we are on Season 7, Episode 1, titled Dragonstone. Coming off a wild Season 6 finale, and just a caveat, I noted this in the, my last video, the Histories and Lore video, but just a disclaimer, I know that I misinterpreted who John, who they were saying John's parentage is when I reacted in the last, in uh, the season six finale video. I actually no, kind of like was thinking about it more afterwards and then when I was rewatching it, editing, and like reheard what she said and kind of thought about everything, I realized where I went wrong, but of course I, you know, kept my initial reaction in the video because that's what a reaction is for <laughs> initial reaction so i appreciate everyone in the comments correcting me and you know making sure that i knew and that i was wrong i know i was wrong but i quickly kind of thought about it a little bit more it was just the, my initial reaction and so much was happening in that episode too and i'd kind of forgotten why she was there and who had taken her and everything so i am aware that i misinterpreted that and who john now you know is implying who john's uh real parentage is but i you know i did get it right that it's not ned and that yeah it's saying that he's actually a targaryen and so in a way he's still it was still kind of right that he has some sort of claim to the throne maybe is kind of where they're going but still so wild so i still can't believe that cersei blew up everyone and then tom and jumped out the window so crazy so wild so excited to see where it all goes. I took a little bit of a break after that last one just because it was it was all a lot. But I'm so excited to see where the season goes. I know that the last two seasons are a little bit shorter, so I'm guessing that that just kind of means that each, each episode must be pretty important um, in moving the show along to this, you know, series finale and wrapping things up a little bit at least. But we also ended with Daenerys making moves across the sea in her ships with uh, Yara and Theon. Uh, and with Tyrion as her hand at her side, which is cool. So I'm excited to see where all that goes and where, you know, now that she's, or what happens when she gets to Westeros and starts, you know, actually fighting for the throne. I'll be interested to see where that goes. Winter is officially here. And now that, you know, Jon and Sansa have taken back the North and everyone's rallying behind him as the King of the North, they can finally start preparing for that battle of, you know, winter coming and the white walkers and i'm sure that that's gonna come into play again maybe this season maybe next we'll see bran is officially the three-eyed raven and is supposed to like know everything and, and you know obviously he saw the flashback to when john was born so now he knows about john's true parentage so i'm interested to see what he does with that information or like as a three-eyed raven what that what he's supposed to do with that information maybe or you know just where that's all leading to with him having those powers and what he's supposed to be doing with all of them so i interested to see more about that him and him and mira and where they go with that storyline speaking of daenerys yara and theon are on the ships with her and their uncle is still after them i think yeah because he's they're you know they're they're a threat to his rule over the Iron Island, so he wants them dead. He doesn't seem like a good guy, so I'm guessing since Ramsay's dead, which that happened last season, which I'm still very happy about, but I'm guessing he's gonna be a not so nice guy that I'll get to hate on this season because we need one of those. Clearly, this show can't ha just have nice people. Also, Arya is kind of making her way back into the fold of like the main action. She was off with the no name people for so long and doing all that stuff, but she came back at the last. And the last episode killed Filch. I can't remember his name in the show. Um, that guy. You know who I'm talking about. Frey. Walder Frey. I cut out the pause, but it was a long pause. Slice Walder Frey after feeding his sons to him, which was so excited to see if, if Arya meets back up with Jon and Sansa, because I really want to see that reunion. Or if she meets back up with the Hound, which would be really crazy to see, because he's back and he has met up with the uh, with the Brotherhood. But yeah, it'd be really cool to see if Ar him and the Hound, or Arya and the Hound, get back together. That'd be crazy. So I'm, I kind of hope that that happens. Otherwise, Sam and Gilly and the baby are at the Citadel. He's learning to become a maester. I don't know how long that takes or if that's kind of what he's going to be doing this season and kind of the rest of the time. We'll see where that goes. And then yeah, Sansa's kind of the queen right now. Jamie didn't look too happy about it at the end of the last episode too. So interested to see that fallout and just the fallout of her having like killed so many people and destroyed the place. And it, yeah, it, that was, a, that's wild. So I'm curious to see if they just kind of jump right into everything or wh where we'll pick up from that last episode. But otherwise, yeah, excited to see where the season goes, even though it's a shorter season. I'd be really interested to see the 
how like the how much bigger the White Walker issue gets to be or if like that continues to be kind of the bigger issue that everyone's nervous about and if and when John kind of learns who his true parentage is or if that comes into play more now that we know it from last season so those are kind of my two big things going into the season but otherwise let's just dive into the episode oh once again we don't go right into the title is a flashback because you're dead now Arya saw to that you're wondering why I brought you all here. Well, it's no good being Lord of the Riverlands if you can't celebrate with your family. Or is it present day and is it like Arya being him? I've gathered every fray who means a damn thing now that winter has is it, is it uh, like first Arya? A toast. With his face on or something? And she's going to do peace. weird things to all of them? She's, she's pretending to be him. She's already being too... Stand. Together. Happy and normal. What are they actually drinking? Not you. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. He has it all. Is it like poison? You're my family. The men who helped me slaughter the stars. Yeah, that's totally what she's wedding. doing. So when you put the face on, do you like change yeah. the whole body into the person Brave too? Men. It's not like just all the face. You. I guess that makes sense. Should a woman pregnant with her babe cut the throat of a mother of five? Yeah, this is a weird speech. Slaughtered your guests after inviting them into your home. <laughs> but you didn't slaughter every one of the Starks. Were there that night? No, no. Nope. Oh! That was your mistake. Ah! Root and stem. Leave one wolf alive. Uh huh. And the sheep are never safe. You tell him, girl. <laughs> she killed everyone! <laughs> yup. <laughs> That's awesome. When people ask you what happened here, yes. Tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey. <laughs> yeah, tell them. <gasps> she she got them all. Ah, oh, she's so cool. I know I say that all the time. She's a badass. <laughs> Good on you, girl. She swore she'd get that revenge. So like I said though, so with not that this like makes up it's not that big of a deal, but with the... When you get someone's face, there must be some, like, magical component then of, like, you fully change into the person. Because, like, she, like, had his hands and whole body and stuff. Oh, Dragonstone. Okay, that was the place that they were talking about in the flashback. That was cool. That was a cool cold open. That was a lot to take in right at the start. Because I really thought we were in a flashback again, like with the Hound, when they did that the last time. I should just never assume anything with this show. <laughs> oh. Yes, Arya. Who's left on her revenge list? Is Arya gonna be the one to kill Cersei? That'd be cool. Cersei's gonna have a lot of enemies after what she did, or do people not really re know that she's the one who exploded everyone and everything? Ooh, old Town. So are we gonna see more of Sam this episode? That was a fun intro with Arya killing everyone. Who is this? Or what is this? Just like wind approaching in like a... S Mm. Well, that's very spooky. Is there a figure in there? Oh, is it a spooky monster right at the start of the show? We haven't seen him in a minute. Oh, and it's the one on the spooky horses. Do these just, like, bring winter with them, then? And the whole army of their dead people. Or of their, the dead white... The, or the skeleton ones. Where are they walking to? Hang on, is that a giant? They have giant white walkers? Have we seen that before? Oh no, there's multiple of them! There's. Oh no! I thought the giants were so cool before, but not as White Walkers! I mean, that is kind of cool, but not in this sense. Oh good, they are getting inside. Oh, giant White Walkers, yikes! Oh, she must be so tired! Oh, hi Ed! It's John's brother! You were at the Fist of the First Men. You were at Hard Home. Well, he knows everything now, because he's the raven. You've seen the army of the dead. You've seen the Night King. He's coming for us. Yep. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and let him on in there, Ned? No, Ed. Hey, come on. Yeah, Mir has earned a rest. Poor thing. Winds are a-changin'. Maybe. I want every northern maester to scour their records for any mention of dragon glass. Mmm, smart. We need to make weapons from it. 
Everyone, age 10 to 60, will oh, drill daily you made with... It you expect me to put a spear in my granddaughter's hand? I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. I might be small, Lord Glover, and I might be a girl, but I am every bit as much a northerner as you. Yes. Indeed you are, my lady. No one and is And I don't need your permission to defend the north. We'll begin training every man, woman, boy, and girl on Bear <laughs> Island. I love the side eye. Yeah. She gets shit done, and I like that. Defenses. I'm not the king of the free folk, but if we're going to survive this winter together, you want us to man the castles for you. Mm. Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardholm. The closest castle to Hardholm is Eastwatch by the sea. And that's where I'll go. Oh, good. Looks They're not like we're the Night's Watch now. fighting that. <laughs> the Ambers on the Karstarks betrayed the North. The castles committed no crime. <laughs> Yeah. And we need every fortress we have for the war to come. Are there still like Boltons around too? Or are they, do we need to get rid of them? I'm not gonna strip these families of their ancestral homes because of the crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no guy. punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. Yeah, tough, gotta do something. Harold Karstark died on the field of battle. They died fighting for Ramsay. Give the castles to the families of the men who died fighting for you. People agreeing with her, so what the pounding means? I mean, I kinda get it. But I will not punish a son for his father's sins, and I will not take a family home away from a family it has belonged to for centuries. Yeah, I get what he's saying. That is my decision. It wasn't the family's fault for And my decision decisions. is fine. Ned Oh. He named Ned after Ned. That's cute. Alice Carstar, I ask you to pledge your loyalty once again to House Stark. There you go. Pledge new loyalty from the surviving next generation. Done. She didn't seem too pleased by this. When you question my decisions in front of the other lords and ladies, you undermine me. Joffrey never let anyone question his authority. You think he was a good king? Do you think I'm Joffrey? It's far from Joffrey. Isn't yeah, it? seriously. Thank you. They respect you. They really do. But you have to. He is. Is a just Why ruler. Are you, you have to be smarter than father. You need to be smarter than Rob. Miss I them. loved them. I miss them. But they made stupid mistakes, and they both lost their heads for it. And how should I be smarter? By listening to you. Would that be so terrible? Maybe you have these discussions Raven. before. Oh, King's Landing, your grace. You are in front of everyone, so it won't seem like she's undermining you. Is this where they find out about what Cersei did? Cersei of House Lannister, first of her name, Queen of the Andals yeah. and the First Men. Come oh. to King's Landing. Maybe not. Bend the knee or suffer the fate of all traitors. You've been so consumed with the enemy to the north, you've forgotten about the one to the south. I'm consumed with the Night King because I've seen him. Winter is here. The Lannisters are a southern army. They've never ranged this far north. You're the military man, but I know her. Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. Yeah, she did. <laughs> By blowing him up. You almost sound as if you admire her. I learned a great deal from her. It's kind of fair. Yeah, what's Cersei been doing? Oh, is this the map that we see in the beginning every time? That's cool. It's ours now, we just have to take it. You've been quiet since you came home. You're angry with me. No, I was angry. You afraid of me? Should I be? She's also probably a little bummed that Tommen's dead. <laughs> Daenerys Targaryen has chosen Tyrion to be her hand. Mm. Hoping to take back her father's throne. Our little brother. The one you love so much. The one you set free. Yeah, that's a sore you spot between them. Our firstborn son. Now he stands beside our enemies and gives them counsel. Yeah, what does Jamie feel about him these days? Where will they land? Dragonstone. Stannis left the castle unoccupied and that's where she was born. Enemies to the east. Enemies to the south. Hilaria Sand and her brood of bitches. Oh Comes yeah. To the west. Ned Stark's bastard has been named king in the north. Yeah, you got. You are so surrounded by enemies. enemies. Everywhere. We're surrounded by traitors. Must You're in command of the Lannister army now. How do we proceed? Winter is here. We can't win a war if we can't feed our men and our horses. Yeah. Will the Tyrell Bannermen stand alongside a Dothraki horde? If they think Daenerys will win. Why would they stand no alongside fight on the losing side right you? Now. We look like the losing side. When you just blew up their and people. The queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Three kingdoms at best. <laughs> I'm not sure you understand how much danger we're in. I understand whoever wins could launch a dynasty that lasts a thousand years. A dynasty for whom? Our children are dead. We're the last of us. A dynasty for us, that's a good show. We never talked about Tom. Yeah, she like didn't react to it. Our baby boy killed himself. He betrayed me. He betrayed us both. What? Should we spend our days mourning the because he killed mother, himself? Father and all our children. Mercy. I loved them. I did. That's why she's, she's weird about it. Okay. Blood. She's mad at Tommen for killing himself. Interesting. Where are our allies now? 
You saw what happens to Walter Frey and his family. His whole yeah. family. <laughs> now they're all dead. Whoever killed him is no friend of ours. We need allies. Oh, they don't know who Stronger, did it. Stronger, better allies. We can't win this war alone. Mm. I think I listened to Father for 40 years and learned nothing. I wonder what that means. I wonder who she's trying to get as her ally then or on her side. How close are they? Oh, there's land. Are they going to Dragonstone then, like they said? You invited oh. the Greyjoys to King's Landing. Well, it looks oh. like Oh. I invited you You're on oh, the new king of the That makes sense, because he's also terrible. You said yourself like her. we needed stronger, better allies. Oh, I thought, okay. I thought it was the other How ships. I thought are they it was better allies? How are they different ships? from the Freys? They both broke their promises and murdered their former friends. Yeah. As as it suited them. You're not picking so great anyone. ones. <laughs> I know the Ironball. They're bitter, angry little people. All they know how to do is steal things they can't build or grow themselves. Your own Greyjoy didn't come here for that. No. What did he come here for, then? A queen. Is he gonna marry her? He's already abandoned his idea of marrying Daenerys. He just wants to marry any sort of queen. The moment I was chosen Lord of the Iron Island, they turned on me. They stole my best ships and ran. Gave them to the Dragon Queen mm. so she could bring her armies here to attack you. Murdering them would make me feel a lot better. And since it appears that all our treasonous family members are fighting for the same side, oh, my, yeah, makes sense for them right for the monarchs to team up. Them together. <laughs> Great joys rebelled against the throne for the right to be monarchs, but as I recall, you were soundly defeated. Weren't you the one who started that rebellion by sailing to Casterly Rock and burning the Lannister fleet? I was there. I remember very well. Oh, I do hate I that. I you. think that he's cute. Though. I heard so much talk. <laughs> like Ramsay. Best in the cute world. ones are always no crazy. One stop him. I didn't believe it, to his be honest. Eyes. He's really pretty. But eyes. I must say. I need to pay attention. It was glorious. People I was cutting down were your own kids. Yeah, he's, he's... The place was getting crowded. He's crazy. I enjoyed watching it. You don't care about the Iron Islands. The Iron Fleet, on the other hand, is the greatest armada Westeros has ever seen. The Iron Fleet, you own the seas. She you can likes that the idea. Invaders in the east. What do you want in return? Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. So here I am, with a thousand ships. Yeah, trying to marry her? <laughs> Oh, Jamie's not gonna like that. I decline your proposal. You're not trustworthy. You yeah. murdered your own brother. You should try it. Feels wonderful. She's trying to. I don't expect you kill to trust Tyrion. me outright. The surest way to a woman's heart is with a gift. I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. What does he mean? Like Tyrion said or something? Good luck. You're not getting that. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh, it's the library and Sam. I wonder where Gilly and the baby ended up going while he's doing his learning. Ew. Ew. Oh, gross. <laughs> I don't need to see this. Oh, what a gross job. Oh, 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 I get it, but it's so gross to see and think about. Ew. Restricted section. Why are they showing us this? Oh, oh, oh! This is so disgusting! Okay, I get it, I get it. I get it. Oh, the juxtaposition of the bedpans and the soup is really, actually, the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I want to drink my wine, but I don't because I'm grossed out. I guess you get to learn anything yet, or is it just this? Chores. Or is it like back there is where like some of the deep learning happens? Yeah, do it, Sam. I won't tell. I want you to do something more exciting than that. The drinker's liver, if ever I saw one. Oh, just throw. Ooh. Weigh that. Just taking the stuff right up. Transitory. I asked you if, in light of what I'd seen in the north, if I could have access to the restricted area of the library. That area is reserved for maesters. Are you a maester? Mm, I know that no. actor. It's another Harry Potter actor. Professor Archmaster, Slughorn, I believe. With respect, I've seen them. The army of the dead. At least it sounds like him. The White Walkers. Yeah, do you tell him. Everyone in the Citadel, they all doubt the Walkers ever existed in the first place. But the tales of the Long Night can't be pure fabrication. Too many similarities from unconnected sources. And there's someone telling you sources that it's... Sources in the restricted area. Very same. Them. The simplest explanation is that you're telling the truth. Right. And that you saw what you say you saw. And killed them. So, you believe me? I do. Thank you, Professor you Slughorn, for seeing some that sense. the only person south of the twins who does. We are this world's memory, Samuel Tarly. When Robert's rebellion was raging, people thought the end was near. The end of the Targaryen dynasty. How will we survive? And thousands of years before that, during the long night, we can forgive them for thinking it truly was the end, but it wasn't. None of it was. 
The war has stood through it all, and every winter that ever came has ended. Yeah, but have they ever had this much of a army before to deal with for White Walkers? I mean, it's a good point, but also there's a lot of White Walkers. That's just a person splayed open that whole time. Oh, was he gonna steal the key and go in there? I support you, Sam. Who is it? Straight up stealing the books. No. Oh. <laughs> She's still working on him with his training. Come on, Pod. No. <laughs> I forgot that he had a crush on her. <laughs> You're a lucky man. <laughs> I like how much he likes her. I've heard she beat the hound in single combat. Mm-hmm. How did he know about that? What do you want, old Baelish? I want you to be happy. I want you to be safe. I am safe. I have Brienne to protect me from anyone who would harm me. Yeah, I'd feel safe with Brienne around. What about happy? Yeah, she does not seem happy lately. Why aren't you happy? What do you want that you do not have? At the moment, peace and quiet. <laughs> yeah, is there- I wonder what is going on with Sansa. Just like, lasting PTSD Why from everything she's been through. We need his man. He wants something. I know exactly what he wants. Her? And probably other stuff. The throne? Is she getting close to the Brotherhood people? Meaning, is she getting close to the Hound? I hope so. I'm just saying. And a chain and a keep are nothing. It's a nice voice. Are they gonna be nice? Hands of gold are always is that Ed Sheeran? <laughs> Vaguely remember now that he was in this. This is so jarring. I was like, oh, he has a nice voice. It's a new one. Are you hungry? Why is Ed Sheeran in this show? Did he just like say, hey, I love the show and want to be in it? I feel like it takes me out of the show a little bit to see him. It's funny that they had him sing too. Are they going to be nice to her, Ed Sheeran? And friends? You head in south. King's Landing. Is she heading there to kill Cersei? Hands on your taste, I guess. They'd skin you alive if they could make two coppers off your hide. Worst place in the world. <laughs> what are you doing Ed the Sheeran, get out of here. <laughs> There's been some trouble with the Freys up at the Twins, so we're part of the army that's been sent to keep the peace. Mm. Oh, no, I couldn't. You don't have enough. Well, my mother always told me to be kind to strangers. Strangers to be kind to you. Well, that's nice. I can't get over Ed Sheeran being here. It's so really random and goofy. Are you old enough to drink? Ed, Ed Sheeran just hanging out. It's blackberry wine. I made it myself. That sounds yummy. So why is a nice girl on our own heading to King's Landing? Yeah, what's your reasoning gonna be? I'm going to kill the queen. I was just gonna say to kill the queen, but... <laughs> she's joking. <laughs> that is why she's going there then, okay. She's looking, she's getting to Cersei. So how it actually ends, that'd be interesting. Or like, how Cersei ends. That'd be interesting. Bad night to be outdoors. That was Ed Sheeran there. <laughs> real powerful magic to figure that out. This seems like a good place to spend the night. These people don't want us here. Seems deserted to me. Oh yeah, why did, does the hound know this place? Do I know this place? The hound seems to know it. Are these the people that him and Arya came across that he killed the guy? What happened to his daughter? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's what happened. That's a bummer. That happened because of what he did. That's why he didn't want to go in there. Girl died in her father's arms. Both of them covered in blood and a knife at their feet. Both of them covered in blood? I'd say they were starving. And rather than let his little girl suffer, he ended it for both of them. I don't hate you. Don't like you. But you're not bad. Thank you, Clegane. We're starting to be friends. So why does the Lord of Light keep bringing you back? You think I don't ask myself that? I don't know what he wants from me. I only know that he wants me alive. Yeah, clearly. If he's so all-powerful, why back. doesn't he just tell you what the fuck he wants? That's a good question. Again, come over here. Oh, is he gonna see something in the fire? They like to do that with the Lord of the Light. But sometimes it's wrong, because... It's my fucking luck I end up with a band of fire worshippers. Oh, that's true. He doesn't like the fire. Right. Don't make him go near Almost it. Almost seems like divine justice. There's no divine justice, you dumb cunt. If there was, you'd be dead. I was gonna say, the fire visions can't always... That girl would be alive. Yeah. The fire visions aren't always right, because Stannis and the Red Woman saw something that wasn't right. What do you see? Logs burning. <laughs> Keep looking. I, too, see logs burning and fire. Is he gonna see something? Oh, he does. Maybe? Ice. Oh. A wall of ice. It's where the wall meets the sea. There's a castle there. Yeah, isn't that where they sent the wild things? There's a mountain. Looks like an arrowhead. The dead are marching past. Mm. Thousands of them. Is that how they're going to breach the wall? Is that what he's saying? Through the sea? Do you believe me now, Clegane? Oh, boy. Do you believe we're here for a reason? That's not good. 
That is not good. Oh, Shogun. Is he burying the two people that he essentially killed? What the hell are you doing, Clegain? Yeah, he's burying them. Burying the dead. The Hound is so interesting and complex. <laughs> Because he wants to have like this like softness to him and like humanity and empathy, but then he's also so crass and mean, <laughs> you know? We asked the father to judge us with mercy. We asked the mother to fucking, I don't remember the rest. <laughs> I don't know if that was the hound talking about it this one. I'm sorry you're dead. You deserve better. Isn't that what both of you? He knew what was going to happen when he did it, but this is kind of just like a change of, or just like, how he's grown since dying, almost dying. Oh, so he gets to come back with them each time, <laughs> each night. That's cute. I like that so much better than her staying with his family. Yep. Little Sam babbling. Legends of the Long Night. The Targaryens used dragon her, to decorate the weapons. Her reading. Without even knowing what the first men used it for. Mm. It's a map of Dragonstone. The Targaryens built their first stronghold there when they invaded Westeros. That's Dragonglass. A mountain of it. Underneath Dragonstone? Beneath the ground. Oh, that's John where... To know. Isn't that where they think Daenerys is going? That would make sense. Also because it's called Dragonstone. Oh, those are from the books that he stole. What's happening in this place? Oh, Jesus Christ! What's happening? Has she come yet? <gasps> Dragon Queen. Jora. Oh, is this where they go? What? Oh no, the dragons or the, the grayscale. Oh, but he was trying to find a cure. Oh, that scared me. Oh, she. So okay, now this is her going to Dragonstone, like I thought it was before. Where all the dragon glasses? Uh, cool. Is that island big enough for all their people? Or I mean, that castle? Neat. Has she? Since, I mean, she was taken, although I think she was still in her mom's summer. Has she ever been this far west since, yeah, since then? I like this new outfit of hers. Will they be able to get in? Oh, nope, yeah. Very easily. <laughs> Just open them right up. Alright, she has arrived. Jora. Not in, I don't think, the way that he was asking, but that's so pretty. That Stan was that a Stannis banner? What's in there? Ah, oh. whoa! It's a big room. They all have like fancier clothes now. That's a different kind of throne. The dragon in the wall looks really cool. Shall we begin? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, is this where she's gonna start laying out her plans? What, like, what are her plans going to be to take over everything? I'm so curious now that she's, like, that she's gotten there. What's she going to do now? That's crazy. Okay, season seven. Here we are. I'm glad that Daenerys is making her way. Did everyone, is every, like, all of the ships and everything that she had, is everyone going to Dragonstone with her? Or was she just ahead of everyone else? It's like I said, it doesn't seem big enough for all everyone that she had coming with her, but maybe it is, and I'm just, whatever. It's apparently... Theon and Yara still need to be very on the lookout for their uncle, who still very much wants to kill them. I'm interested to see what Euron meant after he talked to Cersei about, you know, prove me myself worthy and bring you back something so she'll accept his proposal of marriage. He said, is it like, is he trying to say it'd be like Tyrion's head or something? Crazy like that? Probably. But that was wild. Yeah, so things aren't, I feel like, going great for Cersei now with everything. Like, they don't have any allies. She's killed everyone or like made enemies of everyone that have been allies besides yeah crazy uncle Euron and Jamie seems to know and think this too and doesn't seem to think it's a good plan which he seems to be the only sane person in the situation but he is always just so blinded by his weird love for his sister so he continues to make bad choices with her but interesting that that's why Cersei's not doesn't seem that upset about Tommen is because she feels like betrayed by him that that's why that he took his own life after everything happened is that kind of what that was implying that's interesting John and Sansa seem to be in a little bit of like a I mean they obviously made up in the end but they definitely have I feel like a different way of wanting to run things even though technically obviously John is like you know the person who's actually running the show. Sansa just seems off or like that she has some sort of like anger. Like I said, she's been through a lot. So obviously there's a lot of trauma that she's overcoming and which is fair and I get it. But um, 
interested if it's, if it's something more than that and the whole Baelish of it all too. That's all very interesting. I loved starting with Arya, killing all the Freys. So as much as I was annoyed with her whole like face changing journey that she went on last season, it has proven very useful for her so far, having this skill of being able to change her face and take over people's bodies to in order to kill them or kill other people. So I guess it was worth it in the end. But I hope that she makes it to King's Landing and kills Cersei. I'm okay with that plan. But I also... I think it'd be really cool if she meets up with the Hound at some point, too. Like I said, who seems to be having this, like, crisis of conscience coming over him as well. Though he always kind of had a conscience, but was, like, fighting it, too. Trying to, like, seem like this big tough guy in a lot of senses. But he's an interesting character. Like I said, complex character. Lots, lots going on with that guy. I like that Sam is taking more initiative to find out more about the White Walkers and how to defeat them. Because they clearly need more information. Crazy about Jorah at the end there. So was were they in like he some sort of like isolation thing in the Citadel of like testing about grayscale or something? Is that what what was going on? I'm guessing that that's what it was because he was trying to find a cure for it or maybe helping them find a cure for it. I hope that ha- that's what's happening and that it works because Jorah also is a complex confusing guy but he has a lot of good going for him. Yeah cool seeing him at the end there. But yeah I think it, this episode did a good job kind of catching us up on a lot of the stories and setting us up for where we're going to be going into the season. So I'm excited to see where all the storyline goes. Ed Sheeran was a surprise. <laughs> when he was singing, I was like, oh, this guy has a nice voice. And I thought it sounded familiar. And then he just popped in. Like, cause I kind of vaguely remember when the show was premiering that he was on it. And I want to say it's because he just like really likes the show and asked to be on it. Was that what it was? It was so random. Like I said, it kind of took me out of the moment of what was happening in the episode. <laughs> but I'm glad he had fun. Be, I'm sure he had a lot of fun being in the episode, but it was, yeah, just kind of funny to see him. I think that's all of the main, main plot points. I'm super interested to see more about Bran and all of his knowledge, learning, you know, and all the things that he's learning and knows and how that comes into play with everything. But yeah, good start to the season. Excited to see where it all goes. And as always, thanks for watching with me. Bye.